What does God call me to do? What is he calling me to believe in? For Mary, God was calling her to believe in this divine plan, this divine interruption that, listen, Mary, I'm going to take care of all the details. I just want you to accept the mission, right? I just want you to be willing to accept it. Here's the second question, and it's one that really brings the fear because uh, it, it's the one that, that where we come to grips with what God is actually calling us to do and believe. It's a much bigger deal to answer the question, how will I respond? That's the second question. What is God asking me to do or believe? And secondly, how will I respond? Remember what I said in the beginning of the message, discovering God's plan often brings excitement and joy and a feeling like we're loved and highly favored, but obeying it, that's where the fear comes in. Am I going to do what God called me to do? And after all of this interaction that Mary had with the angel, right? Don't be scared. She's confused, right? She's disturbed. She's highly favored. You're going to have a son. You're going to name him Jesus. He's going to be the king. His reign is never going to come to an end. What about Joseph? God's saying, I got it. What about how's this going to happen? God's saying, I got it. Mary's response to all of this is found in verse 38, and it should inspire all of us as we answer this question. It says this, verse 38, Mary responded, I am the Lord's servant. That's how Mary responded. May everything you have said about me come true. That's the end of the conversation. And then it says, and then the angel left her. This crazy message. You ever like thought God was speaking to you and you're wondering if it was a dream or was the pizza you had last night? I had, I had Dominic's pizza last night and from Neptune. And I think I dreamt a lot of crazy things because of all the cheese and stuff. But it, well, I don't think it was God speaking to me, right? But have you ever, God was talking to you and you're like, and all of a sudden the angel was gone. Just like that. The room is normal. The light is out. She said, I am the Lord's servant. May it, everything come true, right? Mary's answer was simple and profound. I don't need any more explanation. I don't need to, for God to show me the timeline. Well, how many months is it going to take? And when is when are we going to talk to Joseph about that? And what exactly is going to happen? And what about my in-laws? They're not going to believe it. And she didn't say, I, I need a couple of weeks to go pray about it. Sometimes that's what we do. God speaks to us and we're like, I need like two years, right, to pray about that. And then I'll come back and I'll answer. Some of you, I'm like, hey, you want to volunteer in the nursery? I need like seven weeks to pray about the, if I should be in the nursery. No, thus saith the Lord, go in the nursery. Okay, anyway, right? She responded immediately, I am the Lord's servant. May everything that you have said happen to me as you said it. And so quickly, four things that we need to remember when we're deciding how to respond. 